Hi, so as you know, I'm on a mission with the paint to show that this is the world's best paint. And to be honest, I've got to say, it's amazing stuff. Now, we've um, done quite a lot of stuff with it already, as you know. Uh, so we've done uh, Arduino, an Arduino project. There'll be more of those. We did uh, paint on resistors. We did paint tracks so you could make the circuit. We then did the capacitor that had uh, a thousand times more capacitance. And you have to think, what are you going to do next? Well, the next thing in passive components you'd really want to work would be a, an induction coil. If you can do induction, you can do transformers. And that would be really super cool. And of course, the whole point of this video is that's exactly what we've done. So what I've got here is just a painted coil, a spiral of our paint. Now, I've attached it to a um, jewel thief. That's what this circuit is. It's just a jewel thief held together with lots of crocodile clips because obviously to get uh, transformation, what I need is an AC signal. So on one side of it, I need to input an AC signal. And then if I can read a voltage, an AC voltage on the other side, my transformer has worked. And that's what's happening here. So we're transforming the DC input at one volt to around about 80, 100 kilohertz AC signal going in on the spiral on the other side. It's just on that spiral there. And then here we've got an isolated spiral. And if this isn't working, we should get zero on there, but we don't. If I put those probes on there, surprise, surprise, I get an AC voltage. Now it's 0.75 of a volt that's coming through. So there's a fair bit of loss, but that's absolutely super cool. So we can paint a transformer. We can paint an inductor. Now, obviously, you might think that the thing soaked through and, and that voltage might just be going through because they're leakage. But if we put a DC voltage on it and attempt to read a DC voltage on the coil on the other side, then what we get is, let me just put that on the DC voltage reading. Zip, nada, niente, nulla, nothing. That's <laughs> super cool. So there is no voltage leakage through the thing. It is purely the AC signal being transformed with a coreless, planar, painted transformer. And that's it. Got a spiral on that side, a spiral on that side, and a bit of paper that I've painted with our ink to make that. Now, it's a bit scrappy. I painted it. You see it's uh, four turns, five turns on a spiral. It's quite thick and clunky. Our ink does silk screen print, so I can see these things being printed in quite fine lines with quite a lot more spirals. And we've also done a one-to-one, -one, which obviously, um, you know, we just want to prove it worked. We, what you would really want to do, obviously, is different sized coils, and then you'd have them different orientations. So there's a lot of work to look at and to find out what that could actually do. But the basic principle is there. Our ink can be painted on a bit of paper to make a coreless transformer. Now, that is just super cool. I'm thinking phone charging, uh, painted radios, just so many things you could do with that. Anyway, I'm going to keep on, obviously, with our ink. It's available for sale in the shop. and. To be honest, it is so super cool. I don't know why we aren't selling hundreds of litres of this stuff, but I thought I'd share that with you, and I hope it was of interest. Thank you very much for watching.